Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Blog. And today we are going to actually talk about something I saw on Twitter, so thank you guys for retweeting this. I think Reese, our friend Reese on Twitter, is the one who retweeted, retweeted this link and I saw it. So big shout out to you, bud. Um, and uh, I'll put a link to Reese down below. And I'm also going to put a link to a trailer down below that isn't Venom related, but it is Topher Grace related. And that's what this news is today. I just thought this was really classy of Topher Grace. And so I wanted to make a video about it saying how classy I thought it was uh, because uh, we all know Topher Grace played Venom and Eddie Brock in a movie about 10 years ago, a little over 10 years ago in Spider-Man 3. And a lot of people really dogged that movie, really dogged his performance. If you remember, I think on episode 100, I watched the editor's cut of, Ven uh, of Spider-Man 3 and, uh, and I reviewed it and we discussed it. And I, looking back, I see... It, obviously it was a different take on Venom slightly. He was like the anti-Peter Parker in a way. And uh, that was kind of the approach they went with. They didn't go with someone who was like a workout junkie. They kind of tweaked him a little bit. And a lot of people really sent a lot of hate um, towards Topher Grace's way and Sam Raimi's way and Sony's way. And, you know, saying like, oh, you screwed up one of the best characters ever. And I mean, me, I will take things as if they're di different interpretations. I will be open to them. Um, but, you know, even I was like, ah, I don't know if I'm 100% on board with this version of Venom. He, uh, he just seemed kind of, you know, he didn't seem like he had a big arc in the movie or a big impact. He had somewhat of an arc, though, for sure. Uh, he wasn't, like, totally underdeveloped, but he wasn't, uh, you know, the focus. Obviously, when you're doing a Spider-Man Venom story, you kind of want to focus on those two, and you don't want to really have Sandman and, you know, and, and the new Goblin and stuff. You don't want to have too much busy work in there. Um... But Topher Grace right now, he is, uh, and, but that's just my opinion, obviously. Uh, so you guys, if you have a different one, let me know down below. But Topher Grace, he is uh, doing a, you know, press junket right now. He's going around, you know, to promote his new movie, Black Klansman, which looks hilarious. And so I'm going to put a link to that trailer down below. So make sure you check that out uh, if you haven't seen it yet. It's coming out very soon. I think August 10th or somewhere around there. So like a week or so from now. And, uh, and he was doing a you know interview and someone asked him about Tom Hardy playing Venom and it was like hey you were the last person and the only person so far to play Venom on the big screen what do you think of the news of Tom Hardy and have you seen the trailer and everything and this is what he said to me I truly mean this I think Tom is the guy to play that role uh, I'm thrilled to watch it as a fan and I really mean that I think he's just the best dude um, he's proven he can do comic book villains amazing and he's referencing the dark knight rises with you know him playing bane um and he says uh, i understand sam's interpretation which was to do a dark version of toby Maguire's character uh, i was thrilled because i was such a fan of the character that i grew up reading in the 80s and 90s he talks about being a big venom fan i guess but i was aware of how it was going to be different from what i had grown up reading because i know i'm not the look that the character needs uh, he goes, I thought it was cool, but I'm really excited to see Tom Hardy's version. That's the guy I grew up with. That's the character I grew up with, is what I meant to say. Um, so he's saying, he just flat out says, like, looking at Tom, seeing him in action, seeing that trailer, seeing, you know, everything going on. He goes, that is the character. And to hear that is really classy. I mean, I know it's so easy, you know, for anyone in Hollywood to kind of sling a little bit of mud at each other or be a little jealous or a little envious, uh, but to actually be like hey that's great and i've seen other actors do that with like batman roles where it's like you know christian bale or other people coming in to play batman and you know they'll ask previous actors like hey what do you think you know and they're like hey he looks great you know and i always think that's a really classy thing i'm pretty sure the next person to play wolverine i'm sure hugh jackman will probably like yeah cool you know he's gonna play wolverine that's gonna be awesome and now i can watch it as a fan you know and uh, and see someone else's take on the character and uh, i think that's great i i like when actors you know pay that kind of respect to each other because they know it's a hard business they know it's a, you know roles like this are hard to get into sometimes and it's hard to you know deliver what fans want and even now tom hardy who even topher is like hey this guy looks great he looks like the character i grew up with there are still a ton of fans out there who just hate this movie because um because it's not a marvel movie but that's a rant for another day so you guys let me know what you think of topher grace's comments in the comments below i think this was super classy of him i thought you know of course you know a lot of people would be like oh of course he said that he's a nice guy and it's like yeah but he didn't have to say that um and he could have just told the interviewer like hey let's just cut this question let's let's move on 
Uh, but he was nice about it. He was really cool. So, um, you know, I've always been a fan of the guy. He's always been very funny on the stuff he's been in. And to see him, you know, in Black Klansman, I saw the role he's playing. He looks very funny that he's, you know, he's playing like the leader of the clan or something. And uh, it just, it looks like a really funny movie. Um, so I can't wait. I'm going to definitely check that out. So I'll put the trailer down below. You guys check that out. Let me know what you think. But also let me know what you think of Topher's comments. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.